You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, B&B fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and guess what? I've got your Bold and the Beautiful episode spoilers for Monday, September 11th. This is going to be a heavy Eric Forrester episode with him in a rage and making threats that actually bring Brooke to tears. Kind of interesting. So... I am so excited to bring you to these spoilers, and I'm also excited that we are now firmly into Jackie Wood's maternity leave, because that means she'll be on her way back to Bald and the Beautiful, I'm guessing, in a month or two. She generally doesn't take that long off, although it is baby four, so she's totally entitled to her maternity leave, but... I am excited to see her back and see her story resume, and that's why I'm excited that her maternity leave has actually started after we were all on baby watch for so long, and she has had baby number four, whose name is Valor. Her kids all have cool names. There's Rise, and then Lennox, spelled L-E-N-I-X, and then Brando, and now Valor. Very cool names for all her kids. All right, that also means that other storylines are going to move to the front burner with the Steffi show on the back burner for now. Let's dig into how the new week of the CBS soap opera starts. But if you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our B&B updates, news, and more. All right. It's been a minute since our last episode, so I'm just going to really quickly recap Friday, September 8th for you just to get you ready for today in case you kind of zoned out on what happened. RJ found out that Steffi left town and Ridge and RJ talked about him and Brooke and them, the three of them going to visit her. I don't know how welcome Brooke's going to be, but we'll see. More welcome than Sheila at any rate, right? Ridge refers to Eric as being lucid lately, which to me was really a weird remark. And he also talked again about how it's a bad time to start a new line because it's mid-season. Okay, but Eric's been in the business a long time. He knows these things. RJ thinks his dad is being insulting to his granddad. RJ left. Ridge asked Brooke to see her wedding dress design, but she put him off. And then Ridge handed her this stapler and he was staring at the stapler because he and his dad just had that stapler thing. And then Ridge had this vision of Eric at the CEO desk and then kind of fading away. It was very weird. And I'm back to my suspicions that there's going to be some kind of medical storyline because of all of these drops that they've just had about little things. But to be fair also, and I talked about some of y'all in the comments, bold start stuff. They mention things, they drop Easter eggs, they drop hints, and then they just abandon it. Like the case of Brooke saying, oh, I missed my doctor's appointment. And everybody's like, oh no, something's going to happen to Brooke. Nothing. Remember Zoe's cat they killed off? Then nothing. So sometimes they just throw crap out and I don't even know why. And that could be this, or it could be a real storyline we should be concerned about. Also on Friday over at the Malibu house, Lee dropped by to see her son, Finn. And he told her about Steffi leaving him over the Sheila stuff. And then Lee was really PO'd when Finn said that Liam is trying to steal his wife, which is accurate. Lee said Liam has no honor. I agree. She tells him not to let Liam pull anything. And then Bill Spencer was back at the office talking to his boy. Bill was talking to Liam about refusing to forgive Hope for kissing Thomas. But then Wyatt bust in and drop some truth bombs all over as he has been doing a lot lately and I enjoy. He told their dad, Bill, the real problem is that Liam wants Steffi back. Of course, Bill knows that feeling because he's wanted Steffi for himself. Meanwhile, over at the mansion, Eric couldn't make his hand work when he tried to sketch and then RJ showed up and he's like, oh, I can't remember the password for the tablet. Another clue that may mean something or nothing. And RJ encouraged his granddad. And then there's going to be a lot more on that storyline that moves firmly onto the front burner this coming week. Instead of the Steffi show, we're about to get the RJ show in case you haven't picked up on that. (sighs) That noise is all I'm going to say about all that right now. All right. On Monday, September 11th, two things. Of course, this is 9-11. So I briefly just want to acknowledge the tragedy that we all still remember. And because of that, there's always the possibility that the soaps could be interrupted for news coverage of memorial services and things like that. 
If that happens, it's understandable. I get it. So just to let you know, it could happen. The main spoiler for Monday's episode is that Brooke Logan heads over to the Forrester Mansion and is completely gobsmacked. She is going to see there's a lot of activity at the house. Donna Logan is there too. Eric and RJ have been very busy. They have designs sitting around. There's a bunch of stuff going on. And then Eric is going to say some very harsh things about his son to Brooke. Eric definitely feels that Ridge is trying to put him out to pasture. And to be fair, that does seem what Ridge is trying to do. With Steffi gone, Ridge thinks he's the sole person in charge at Forster Creations. And when Brooke goes over to Eric's house, he drops some bombshells that show this is turning into a huge pissing match between father and son. We have a couple more things to add about what's happening on Monday. But real quick, if you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe. It helps our channel grow. We appreciate it. Also, click a like if you're enjoying this and definitely drop your comments on what you're excited to see on Monday and what you think about this becoming the RJ show, because it is definitely coming. He's getting a girlfriend this week. There's another intern with him. He's got this. I just can't even. So the only official spoiler for Bold Monday is about Brooke and Eric, but we're obviously going to get other scenes and not just that. I would personally like to see more Bill Spencer since he's been gone a month and was just back for one whole episode and then disappeared again. So let's hope they pick back up and he warns Liam, watch his step. I personally would like to see Bill getting on his private jet and racing off to meet Steffi for himself. All right, so shout out to another country. I had another commenter telling me they are tuning in from Denmark. Thank you so much. Welcome aboard. You're in good company with our other international listeners from Norway, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, the Netherlands, France, and Italy. So far, drop me a comment with your country that you're listening from if I haven't mentioned you yet. And of course, all of our listeners, viewers, and followers in the U.S. and Canada, thank you so much for tuning in. Brace yourselves for Monday, September 11th, as we watch the front burner storyline shift to Eric and RJ and away from Steffi. But later in the week, we've got some Thomas and Hope action if you want something with some sizzle. Thank you so much again for listening. This has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 